welcome back to my channel. You all asked for more viral TikTok hacks and that's exactly what I've got for you all today. I think like 27 of them to be exact. So it's a little ambitious, but they are all over the house. They are kitchen hacks, life hacks, cleaning hacks, just a bunch of fun and I'm gonna go ahead and jump right on in. If you guys enjoy this one, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this one and let's get started. I'm gonna do this one the same way that I've done the previous four. I'm going to start with the cleaning hacks because there's not too many of those, but I'm gonna start with the cleaning hacks, then move into anything that's kitchen and just general life hack. One other thing before I start this first cleaning hack, every hack I do today will actually work. None of these are gonna be the whole, I'm just trying them out and seeing if they work. These are all verified, either I have already done them myself or there is some people that I follow on TikTok and Instagram. Their name is Party Shirt. They are hysterical, by the way. But they test all of these as well. And this next one I'm gonna start with, they have tested because mine aren't that dirty. So you'll see why in a minute. But the first hack we're gonna talk about is your headlights on your car. And there is an easy way to clean them if they're really gross and fogged out and nasty. And that's lemon and baking soda. In the bowl, I put some of the baking soda because I don't wanna dip a lemon straight into there. But what you're gonna do is cut your lemon in half and then dip it straight into here and we're gonna scrub the light on the car. There is my headlight on my car. As you can see, it's not very bad, but there are like love bugs and stuff, so maybe this will work for that. Dunk it really good and get it saturated in the baking soda. Kinda like that. Ready to go. What do you think? Cause I think they look pretty good. Let's wash it off. Just wiping it off for now, and then I'll rinse it with water in a minute. But, I mean, I can definitely see a difference, and on the worst lights, it did even better. But sorry for anyone down in Florida, it did nothing for the love bugs. The next one also involves lemon and baking soda, but it's for your cutting boards in your kitchen. Specifically, plastic cutting boards in your kitchen. As you can see, that color in the middle of mine right there, it is stained on there. This was already hand washed, dishwasher, you name it. It still has that discoloration all through the middle. So what I'm gonna use is the rest of that baking soda, a little extra, the other half, the lemon that I cut, and some sea salt, doesn't matter. I only have pink Himalayan, doesn't matter, but that's what you're gonna use on this. First things first, cover the spot in baking soda very well. Next, your salt. They didn't specify how much of any of this, so I'm just kind of going on the heavier side to give it a better shot at working. And then just take your half a lemon, squeeze it just a tiny bit to get everything flowing in there, and then just start scrubbing. Okay, you can see all the lemon and stuff is still on it, so let's see if it actually worked. Is it better? Yes. Is it perfect and back to brand new? No. But my cutting boards are very old, like several, several years old. So, I mean, I'm not really expecting it to look brand new, but it does look a lot better. The next one involves trash bags. Instead of fumbling with them in the box, you should be able to take them out, and the easiest thing to do is to put them on a paper towel roll. Now, mine that I have, it's not gonna work, so it depends on the brand of trash bags you're using. See, mine are wound really, really tight in the middle, and I tried to put this end on, and it didn't actually go through. So some of them you can, some of them you can't, and it looks like it works fantastic. It does actually work, it is a hack that works. If you have a hole in the middle of your trash bags, do this. The next one I'm gonna try on my son's school shoe. This next hack involves this white part of your shoe, not all the soft stuff up here, no. Just the white part. If it's dirty and not quite as white as you would like, you can use nail polish remover and a cotton ball. So let's get a good before of all the dirty spots, especially right around like here and here. And then just some nail polish remover. By the way, this is one of the little twisty top parts. So you just turn it to the side and then it's got this little spout. Love it. Okay, okay nail polish remover. And then just scrub the white. That's crazy how well that works. But I will take a wet cotton ball or a paper towel or something and wipe it off just to get any nail polish remover off. But this one definitely works. If you have situations with cat or dog hair, this next one is for you. I'm more specifically about the cat hair. You do not need any kind of special lint roller or brush or anything to clean their cat trees or their bed. You just need a rubber glove. No judgment, but this is my son's extra bunk bed. This is the top, he doesn't use it. 
so she uses it like her cat bed and everything are up here this is her favorite corner it has not been clean in a while specifically to show you guys exactly how this works so just a rubber glove and it will grab all of it and if the rubber glove is wet it works even better I'll go show you now I have wet the rubber glove same cat hair section and you just work it all to one spot and look at all of it just stuck to my glove it works very well just took two more swipes and got that much more so yes definitely a winner Moving on, the next one is for your baseboards. If you've been around for a while, you guys saw where I used a fabric softener method to clean the walls. This is going to be using fabric softener to do the baseboards. Just some fabric softener, your choice, doesn't matter, scent, company, any of that. And you're gonna need one of these little cleaning wands. You can get them from Walmart, Target, the Dollar Tree has them, they're fantastic. But it's gonna be half fabric softener, half water. One side note when you're filling these things up, take this part off so you can cover the hole right there. Otherwise, it's gonna leak everywhere while you're trying to fill this thing up. There's about the amount of water I'm using. See the handle. In goes the fabric softener up. Mix it up in there. And then put your piece back on and you're ready to go. The first baseboard I'm gonna start with is this one right here. Something spilled, splashed on it, no one cleaned it. So we're gonna try it on that one. Get the product moving in there first before you try this. Like you want to feel it on the spongy part. Plain microfiber. Beautiful. Since this is just fabric softener and water, it is essentially the same one as cleaning the walls with. So, but because this has a little scrubbing feature, be careful if you do move up to your walls. If you do not have scrubbable paint, this will chip your paint a little bit. But otherwise, you can just move this right up to your walls. This one definitely does work. It is made for baseboards in the TikTok, but it will work, like I said, if your paint is scrubbable, just move it up to your walls. If you are concerned about fabric softener and it being flammable and all those complications, don't do half and half. Do a quarter fabric softener, the rest water. It will still work just as well. Also, I will mention the flammable part of the fabric softener on my walls does not bother me because I wash my walls periodically. You guys have seen I mop them if you watch my other videos. So it's not like the fabric softener is just sitting on my wall and I'm constantly washing it with fabric softener and like putting a layer on there. No, it's not like that. So if you wash your walls periodically, you won't have to worry about that either. The last cleaning specific hack is in the laundry room if you want your clothes to dry faster they say very simply take a clean dry towel throw it in with the wet clothes and it makes it go a lot faster and one might think putting that in there is basically the same as throwing some wool dryer balls in there yes they basically speed up the process as well and i do have these on hand but i also have a toddler and a puppy both of which like to play with these so if i can ever find more than one it's a shock in my house, so this trick is fantastic. Put your wet clothes in the dryer, and yes, they are very wet, as you can tell. And then just take your dry towel, don't worry about lint, your dryer does its job, throw it in there, and it should cut down the drying time pretty significantly. So, we're gonna test that theory. I'm gonna put mine instead of on normal, which should take 57 minutes. I'm gonna put it down here on speed but still put it on medium like it would be and change it only to 30 minutes. We'll back to medium and see if 30 minutes it's done. A load like that of the kids' clothes is typically done in one round of that normal dry, maybe like an extra 10 or 15 minutes on another medium setting. But this will be really shocking if that 30 minutes and it's done, but I'll keep you posted. 30 minutes later, let's see what we're dealing with. All right. The majority of this is almost completely dry. The jeans around the waistband where it's a little, a little thicker, that stuff's not dry. But this is never like this at just the 30 minute mark. So definitely this one works. 
Now I'm gonna move into the kitchen and life hacks. I am joining them together because some of them kind of overlap a little bit. So just to keep it all nice and not confuse anyone, I'm going to combine the kitchen and the life hacks. Okay, for this next one, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove eggshell. If you crack an egg and there's some shell in there, I'm gonna show you two easy ways to remove it. I cracked the egg and you can see I threw some shell in there deliberately. Well, if you have dry skin and you try to go in and get it, sometimes it just will not come for you. Like this bigger piece, obviously, I can get that bigger piece. But that smaller piece, it just wants to keep evading me. So there's an easy way to do this. Just wet finger, if you go in. Oh, no, there it goes. Something about the water helps you get through it. The overwhelming hack on TikTok is to actually take another piece of the shell and go in and just pull it out, just like that. It comes out with no problem if you use a piece of the shell. We're gonna try again on that itty bitty one down there. Same piece of shell from before. And there it is, right out the bowl. Just like that. The shell's all gone and I don't wanna waste this. So I'm gonna use it in my next one because I have to mix up some cookie dough. Here is the cookie dough I was talking about. I'm going to scoop just a few cookies on here and bake them off and show you what this hack is all about. You will see those look like a hot mess. When I typically do cookies, I have a cookie scoop. This hack is for people that don't use a cookie scoop but want still perfectly circular cookies when they're done. As you can tell, they are not perfectly circular. I thought they would even look more messed up than this, but they don't. What you're gonna do is just take a normal glass, not plastic, glass, as soon as they come out of the oven, and you kind of just put it over the cookie and move in circles. And it does that. Okay, and it'll make them fluffier if you do it too much. If you just do a tiny bit, they stay a little flatter. That's an easy hack if you are a stickler for the shape of your cookie. It goes perfectly circular with just a few twists from a glass. Cutting board slipping all over the counter. Wet paper towel. No more slipping. Simple as that. Spice is ever coming out a little too slow? I got a trick for that. This way you can see it clearly. White plate, very bright colored paprika. Just normal. Like that. But over here, look at that. See the difference? Now, to show you what I'm doing, the little plastic part that comes on the top of all of them, it does not have to be these glass ones that I've re-put in. All of them work, store-bought ones too. I'll show you one of those in a minute. But you just twist the jar and hold this, and it comes out so easy. This is just a store container, Walmart brand chili powder, and it just shakes out like normal. Or, see? So it doesn't matter if it's the glass ones, plastic, doesn't matter, still works. If you have a recipe that calls for something sticky like honey or maple syrup or something, instead of putting it in one of these, I'm gonna show you an easier way. Take your dry ingredients, you can use whatever measuring spoon you want. The, this is a teaspoon, this is a tablespoon. But what you're going to do is you're gonna take the measuring spoon and you're going to indent it into the batter. And then you'll just fill that with the ingredient instead of the spoon itself. So there's the tablespoon on this side, just like that. Now, to see if the measurement's correct, I'm actually gonna dirty the spoon for you guys. Easy trick, spray this with that. The honey will slide right out. Okay, one teaspoon, one teaspoon, perfectly. One tablespoon of honey into the hole. Okay, now I pushed that one a little hard so it went a little deeper than it needed to, but as long as you push pretty easy, it'll be perfect every time. The next one is a fun way to juice a lemon. First things first, I have a bowl, you're going to need a skewer, ignore my daughter's pretzels, and of course your lemon. Roll this on your counter, pushing pretty hard, but not hard enough to you know, break it open. 
when you can feel it's a little like squishier than it was, you're pretty much good to go. Take one of the ends of your lemon and your skewer and you're just gonna poke into the lemon, kind of make a little hole, move the skewer around. Oh, you can see it's already starting to work. Take the skewer out and squeeze. Now, I want more than that. So I'm going pretty far. Yep. Yeah. And I poke through the other side, so. There it goes. Now it's going really well. Like, this one works really, really well. Just keep squeezing till you deflate your lemon, basically, but you'll get all the juice out with this method. My daughter drank the lemon juice, but the other good side to this is you don't have to worry about dealing with the seeds, the pulp, nothing. It just comes out straight juice. Into the master bathroom for the next one, and that is if you have to stick up anything that has suction cups. Neither of these two items do I want sticking up permanently, but they're the only ones I have with suction cups. But I've heard there's like cat beds and different things that you really want stuck up there for long term. This hack is more for that. What you're going to need, you can also do this with Vaseline, by the way. Smear some Vaseline on each one, that works well. This works better, and it's just hairspray. I'm gonna do my makeup brush holder, and I'm gonna do my shower speaker. And I'm gonna do one on the mirror, so one's going on glass, and I'm gonna do one inside my shower that's not glass. But this will also work on tile and all kinds of stuff. But just put your hairspray, and put it, like that, just a little bit, on the suction cups. And I'm gonna stick this one, hopefully you guys see me clearly. Put it on right there, push it down, and just let it go, and give it a minute to dry. And then I pop this one in here. You'll see, yeah, you can see. And just push it against it, and leave it alone, and give that a second to dry. It's been about one minute. This isn't moving at all. I would have to like get my nails behind it and rip at the suction cups to break that bond. This one, same thing. And this one sucks. This suction cup is awful. And it's not budging at all. Not at all. Seriously, it's holding the weight of the Windex bottle. It's on there. It's not coming off. Let's test the strength of this one. Jean jacket on a hanger. Yeah, and it's still not budging. So that, this one definitely works, guys. Do not worry, it will not ruin your glass. Just get behind it with your nails and pull them up. And then just clean off whatever marks it makes with glass cleaner and you're good. Gatorade packets like this, with this little plastic thing around them. Did you know you're probably doing this wrong? You're not supposed to take them to the edge and rip one out or anything like that. There's a little tab that if you pull it, Hang on, I gotta get up underneath it. There's this little perforated thing that if you pull it, it comes right out. So simple. This one right here actually came from one of these guys on TikTok. He does things I wish I knew before I was in my 30s. This is one from him. I will tag as many creator names as I can below so you guys can go over there and follow them. His stuff is fantastic. And several of these hacks today are from his page but this is probably one of the best ones. It's just this little perforation right here. Didn't even know about. Here, a closer one. There's the perforation. Tear, pops, comes right on out of the whole pack, just like that. Let's go into another thing you're probably opening wrong. Now, if your family was anything like mine, we always had English muffins in the house and my mom would cut them open or she would use a fork and she would just like pry into these little spots right here and pop it open that way. Well, I did that my entire time growing up, and then when I had my own kids, we do English muffin pizzas. So I would cut them with a knife or wedge them open with a fork. No, you don't have to do that. Easy to split. You pinch it around, just pinching it, and it will come open. That's all you gotta do. Pinch at it, and it splits apart. like that. So I gotta do is pinch at it. 
Fresh bag of popcorn. Hate dealing with kernels when they're in there. That little hole up here when you pop it, you should just be able to shake the kernels right out of the bag. Let's give this a go. <laughs> it's a slow process, but it does work. Some of my popcorn came out, but like this one definitely works. Door stops. Yes, they keep the door from hitting the wall, but they will also keep the door open. If you just push it down and you put the door over it, it will hold the door open and in place. Yeah, I had no clue. And then you can just and go right back to normal. Now, clearly this one's not as useful when it's on my laundry room door because this door stays back. Now, if you have one of those doors, when you open it, it starts to try and close again. That's what this one's for and really, really useful. Got a very wrinkly shirt. You wanna get the wrinkles out of really fast? I'm gonna show you. Dryer, shirt. Put it in there with an ice cube. Two minutes. Okay. Like, the wrinkles are gone. There's a few tiny little water spots, if you see them, they will come out really quickly. But there will be a few little tiny water spots, obviously you're dealing with ice, but two minutes, wrinkles are gone. The original guy that I got this TikTok from, he says the shirt, the ice, and one minute. The one minute, the wrinkles are almost gone too, but it doesn't give the shirt the extra minute to get some of that water suddenly out of it. So there are more water spots at the one minute mark, but this will still work even at the one minute mark. See all the wetness from the ice cube in there with it? So the wrinkles are gone, but it will be wet for a minute. So if you do take this straight from the dryer and you put it on, you are gonna have watermarks for just a few minutes. This next one involves skincare. There are so many people over on TikTok that have great information if you're looking for anything to help with issues with your skin. So many good resources, but there's one girl over there, she takes a cucumber and freezes it, and then every day she will put the cucumber frozen on her face in like these upward motions. It is fantastic what it does for your skin. Cucumber is great. You can look up the benefits on Google, but there's tons of them. It helps with acne prone skin, aging, hydration, you name it. It is a fantastic thing. While another girl saw hers and she was like, okay, frozen cucumber at part of the day, frozen aloe vera at another part of the day. Well then she decided to combine the two. I, it's crazy the benefits, just look them up, cucumber for the skin and aloe vera for the skin, the benefits are astronomical and I'm gonna show you what the other girl I saw recommended to do with it. This is a popsicle holder, it's for children. I found on Amazon, it is the exact same one that she used. There are seven, it is one for every day because the size of it, you will use basically in one sitting every morning and then let it sit on your face for a few minutes and rinse it off and within the first week, you are gonna see beautiful benefits, more glowy skin, hydrated, less issues. It helps with all of your wrinkles. It helps with acne prone skin. It's just fantastic. So in here, I actually have right here, this right here is aloe vera and cucumber mixed together. Right here I'm gonna piece in what I did last night. You'll see this big old piece of aloe vera and that cucumber. I peeled half the cucumber, the other half is in my freezer. Dug all the inside out of the aloe vera, put them inside my blender together, blended it up and poured it into the little molds here, put the lid on and popped it in my freezer overnight until I got these cute little popsicles here for each day. One of the girls I did follow that had this exact same one, she added green tea and then in her comment section people said add turmeric. There's like a million ways you can play with this, but turmeric is fantastic for the skin and like your circulatory system as well as a lot of other things. So you could do your research and really play with these, but otherwise 
just frozen cucumber or cucumber and aloe vera, and these things are amazing. Clearly, I'm wearing makeup, so there's no way I'm gonna put this on my skin to try and show you guys. I am going to do this with this frozen set for the next seven days, and I will update my Instagram or even the comment section later, but I do already know this works because last summer, I fell on the frozen cucumber train, and it was amazing. I did it for over a month straight, and yeah, I'm sorry, this is cold, and it is very cold in your skin. It takes a little while to get used to, but it's just wonderful. If you've never tried it, try it. While we're talking about frozen stuff, the next one is for your pets. Frozen carrots. Rawhide is awful, most of the bones are awful for your dog. Carrots are actually very good, they're good for their teeth. There's a lot of vitamins and nutrients in the carrot and if you freeze it, it keeps them busy longer trying to chew at it. So if you give your dogs carrots, freeze them first. Want? You want? Go ahead, take it. No, I'm not gonna hold it for you, buddy. Not sure why Brianna's holding it for him, but he loves it. And it'll keep him busy for a while. And yes, I have one for Hunter too, but Hunter's not the biggest fan of carrot, so I don't really see him eating that. If you've watched any of my previous TikTok hack videos, I do love to end them on things that I find that I just wanna share that's not necessarily a hack. Just like the coffee creamer from the last one, basically coffee creamer is vegetable oil. Today, I have two little facts like that to share with you guys. First one, we're gonna talk about Dawn for a second. If you are a person who uses the orange Dawn and not the blue, you're actually using hand soap. I'm gonna move so it can focus, but you can see it clear as day right here under the antibacterial, it says hand soap. It does not say dishwashing soap. And if you read the directions on the back, they are directions for how to wash your hands with this not how to wash your dishes with it. Can you still wash your dishes with this? Yes. Is it meant for that and intended for that? No. Is it sold right next to this? Yeah. But still, this is hand soap. This is dishwashing liquid. And if you see the front of this one, it says right there, dishwashing liquid. It says nothing about hand soap. And the directions say about cleaning your dishes. So, just a little fun fact there. This is actually hand soap. The other one, actually, I had no idea, and I just found it, I think, two days ago. If you have pine salt in your house, turn around and actually read its uses. It literally goes in your laundry. It goes in your laundry. Pine salt is actually a fantastic laundry booster because it's got glycolic acid in it, and it's amazing to help your detergent do which job better and it will soften your water if you have hard water just add this to your detergent i think it says a half a cup yeah it's a half a cup of this with your normal laundry detergent amazing there's a guy on there he tested this for like a month and his clothes were so much better this is what he adds all the time to his laundry now but that's gonna do it for this one thank you guys so much for watching i hope you learned a new hack or two to try around your house if you did enjoy this one, please hit the thumbs up and let me know down below if you want more videos like this one. There is a ton of stuff to learn over on TikTok and I will happily bring it over to you. I can even do a cooking TikTok video that is specifically all the crazy recipes they try over there that you would never even think of. I can bring that over here to you guys. Just let me know. Again, thank you so much. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel for more like this and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.